This EPM nugget will introduce you to Quick Start and the first phase of its deployment. Quick Start is a set of starter policies, which have been designed to immediately reduce risk without impacting the user experience while also providing a logical foundation to build on. If you are well-versed in managing and maintaining EPM policies, then Quick Start is a great time saver. And for those new to the field, it will also serve as an education on how to layer policy to achieve desirable outcomes. To enable Quick Start, simply expand Policies in the navigation bar. Click Policy Recommendations, scroll down to Quick Start, and click the Activate Quick Start button. You will be prompted to confirm, and after a short time, a banner notification will appear to inform you that the Quick Start policies have been activated successfully. These policies can be reviewed by clicking on the Policies heading in the navigation bar. You will note that each policy is prefixed by a number which indicates the sequence in which the policies should be evaluated. It's not actually this number that dictates the sequence that is achieved by configuring the priority in the individual policies. However, the numbers are useful to be able to view the policies in layers. Layer 1 contains exceptions for known good applications, such as approved content handler plugins. Layer 2 closes down common attack vectors typically exploited by malicious content, and this is also where we define restricted tasks and applications that we do not want the end user to tamper with, such as disabling security controls. Layer 3, this is where we start to define role-based access, and these policies are targeted at specific users slash groups and will contain the tasks and apps that we want to automatically approve. Layer 4, handles discovery of users' admin right requirements, and the events these policies create should be reviewed and used to update layers 2 and 3. Keep on top of that activity, and you will be quickly through the discovery phase, and you can switch policies at layer 4 from open to a more appropriate gating mechanism. The policies in Quick Start utilize several additional components that you should be aware of, including application groups for targeting specific applications, and setting the parent process context for blocked apps. Dialog boxes, which have been customized to solicit useful feedback from end users. And the collection of policy audit events, which needs to be activated in agent configuration. The policies need a small amount of customization before we continue. As a first step, you should review the content handlers and browsers application groups to ensure these are reflective of your environment and if needed, add or remove from this list as needed. Next, you should duplicate, target, and modify layer three policies to any known roles. And in the case we don't yet have that information, you should deactivate these policies and use them as a template for future use. You are now ready to remove users from the administrators group and benefit from the risk reductions built into the quick start policies, while still enabling your users to gain access to the privileges required to perform their role. Phase 1 is now complete. Thank you for watching.